Okay, today is baseboard day. So we're gonna finish off the room and we'll start by taking some measurements. I got this little Empire protractor that really helped me out. Uh, not all of your walls are gonna be 90 degrees, so it's best to get something to make sure you got the right angle. When you're making these outside corners for the, the boards for these outside corners, take into account the, that you're going to have to have a little extra length for the board that's coming off the side. So you want to take into account that extra little bit of board that you're going to need. And of course, uh, get your first miter in place if you're going to do a corner. Mine was a 92, so I split it. It's going to be 46 degrees. And I make my cut before I take my measurement, of course. Be sure to change your your saw your saw back to the other side so you won't have to recut another board. I like to make a little, put a little line there, so just kind of mental note that my saw needs to end at the very back of the board. Watch your thumb. See, right at the back of the board. That's how, that's how you want it. I like to go ahead and get my first piece in. That way when I cut my other boards, I can line them up. Make sure everything's looking right. Whoops. It's good to see to keep in mind that you get this right on the edge or your other board's not going to line up properly. So after that, we're going to paint the boards. I take them all out. I dry fit them, paint them, put this high gloss on. And then after I paint them, I let them dry. And while, while they're drying, I'm going to go ahead and find the studs. I do have a review for this stud finder. You can look at that also. I have a video for it. Eighties movies, anybody? Cobra? <laughs> Everybody loves to hear a, a nail gun go off. It sounds so productive even when you screw up sounds like you're doing a good job So these, these uh, caulking guns, they have a blade on them right there where you can cut. Some of them don't work very well, so you can choose to get a different way to open it. But And they have, also have that little metal coming off that will puncture the seal. So it's good. It's a handy device on the actual caulking gun. So It's good to cut it at a 45 degree angle if you're going to cut it. Pull this thing back, set it in there, tighten it up, and you're ready to go.
All you need is your finger and a little towel. It's good to just wipe a little bit off and then put it on the towel. That's way it's not building up on your finger. If it builds up on your finger, it's end up going to bulk up and be on your all over your wall. Everything's in, everything's cocked up top. Now we got to go back and patch these holes right here. I'm going to be using this dry decks from DAP and I'm going to be using some window glaze to see which one's better if they are different at all. Rub that in. You can come back over here and sand it down. We'll sand it down. Let it after it dries up. You sand it down. And then no time to put a little bit of paint on there. I did two coats of paint on these. Probably could have used the third one, but I just did two coats. It looked all right. And then after that, I decided to use, instead of a quarter round, which my wife does not like, I decided to use silicone. I'm just going to silicone the bottom of the baseboards and see how it's going to look. Again, I just use my finger. Just Press up against the crease and just push it all the way down. Keep taking it off my finger every so often so it doesn't build up on my finger. So pull your tape off. I recommend pulling the tape off right away so it doesn't become a problem to come off later. And it came out alright. It looked pretty good. So. Nice little thin line. You can't really see it. Get that little smudge off, a little bit that came up. We're good. If you like this, subscribe, like my page. Appreciate it. See you on the next one.